first person to recognize the potential of Led Zeppelin was John Paul Jones, an arranger and studio musician who was looking for a piece of the limelight. He found it next to Jimmy Page. I called him up and said, look, you're forming, I'm really forming a group. Do you want a bass player? And he said, yeah, sure. I'm going up to Birmingham. I'm going to see this singer called Robert Plant. And he knows a drummer who at the moment is earning 40 pound a week playing with Tim Rose, and we probably won't be able to get him away. <laughs> Jimmy came back down and said, they're great. We've got to get together. And we hired a little room, wall-to-wall -wall amplifiers, and he just counted it in, and the whole place like, exploded. It was unbelievable. Led Zeppelin was a band with three lead instruments, Page's guitar, Plant's voice, and Bonham's drums. Their foundation was Jones on bass. Without John Paul Jones, there would not have been a band like it, you know. Musically, he was the one. He really put the ideas in. Tremendous amount of ideas. And sometimes people don't see that. The bass guitar, especially by nature, isn't a sort of forefront instrument. And Robert and Jimmy did provide a lot of the visual action on stage. He was and is a brilliant musician and arranger. He enjoyed the uh, success and the uh, financial benefits of, of being in Led Zeppelin, but, but he never wanted to buy into the image and into the mystique, into the whole PR process of the band, so he kept a very low profile. I once read about uh, something about the Beatles that impressed me a lot, was that uh, they toured America, they toured all, all the way around the world, and they never left their hotel rooms. You know, they, was, in fact, they couldn't make the lobby, right? And uh, I thought, this is not going to happen to me. So wherever we went, I would stay fairly uh, low profile on purpose. We used to go out walking together, and maybe we'd make it about 500 yards from the hotel where I'd have to turn around and scamper back, which really isn't particularly good fun, you know. But Jonesy could keep on striding out. <laughs> right, sort of <laughs> the ultimate optimist. Next up, a visit with the magician. 